Hello, this is Anna from Malantos. We are a Spanish Odoo partners and uh, I'm going to make a video. This video will show uh, w what we did in Odo MRP project. This is a project created in, in Spain uh, to extend uh, MRP Odoo functionality. Yesterday someone told me that uh, he would like to see in five minutes what we did and I'm going to try to make my best but I don't know if I, it will be enough with five minutes. Although MRP is a project where we have built almost uh, 120 modules you can see here. They are very modular, very very easy to, to install or not install depending on your needs and it's not only related to MRP, most of them are related to M MRP, but we have got uh, modules made to product, procurements, sales, purchase, quality, everything. Uh, er any area in, in Odoo uh, can be extended uh, with, with uh, Odoo MRP modules. So um, let's uh, start with it and we we will uh, start with manufacturing area so first of all you will see that we have got now uh, an operation master we can have a uh, several configuration about uh, the operati operation itself we have got a uh, extended work center a uh, work center form where we can set the operators or the operation that can be done in this work center. Uh, related to work center, we have got a machine um, a form, uh, so we can uh, set the machine uh, invoice data, the, the st starting data and another uh, data related to machine, and this could be made for any kind of machine on company. It is not necessary to be a manufacturing machine. We can also set uh, the homologated users to, to this machine and another, another fields. This module is linked to assets and purchases. So when I make a uh, purchase, uh, automatically if the product uh, that I am buying is a machine automatically the system will create this register on on machine manager so this can be used standalone not uh, no, is not dependent from any other uh, manufacturing um, uh, module after that we have got uh, routines and then in routing uh, we have got something different that uh, one uh, routine has got a list of operation and in this operation we can uh, identify what m a work center can be operate uh, on this routine and we have got um, efficiency and, and cost uh, data for any work center uh, that can be take part in this uh, operation inside the route this concept is new uh, because the, the efficiency and, and cost data can change depending on the route uh, that uh, the machine is operating. So we added this, this um, configuration data and basically uh, it takes um, master data from World Center is itself. Okay, so when I select um, a word center to go into a root, uh, the first da data uh, it will take will be the, the ones that, that I uh, added here, but uh, you can change there on, on the root. After that, we have got bill of materials. In bill of materials, there is a lot of changes. First of all, we included the concept of a bill of material versions and a and status of, of them. The, I, uh, I can have an uh, active or historical bill of materials and I can make different versions or sequence the, uh, of, of bill of materials. And after that we can have bill of materials not only made a product against a product but uh, we added the concept 
to make a bill of materials template against template this is you can have generic bill of materials you don't need a uh, uh, specifying directly all the products included or all the products that are needed to to manufacture a, 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 a specific product we added a lot of tools to automatically select the correct component component that is going to be consumed on manufacturing order and we try to make the bill of materials generic enough to avoid having thousands or, or, or hundreds of, of bill of materials a specific bill of materials this is if my product uh, has to be a uh, white uh, and it needs a component that must to be white we avoided to have a bill of materials for white and another one for red we only uh, made the relation between final product and, and uh, template and co uh, product to consume template and the system will select the correct white uh, component when I launch the, the, the manufacturing order so we build a, a manufacturing configurator, product configurator so I'm going to look for one with templates well these one are all uh, with a specific product because it's a uh, um, demo data well in here you have got one product and uh, you will select a, a, a product a, um, something that is a, a component one a label and another label and I don't uh, specify directly the product but uh, the system when I launch the, the manufacturing order will select the correct one for this uh, we added a concept in, in attributes in templates and attributes that it's something like this one we added a few menu entries to, to be able to access directly to, to attributes and you could see that we extended a little bit this one and we have got now attributes that can be a, a type range uh, because I can select uh, a value between a custom value between two values and we have got also the concept of um, an attribute inheriting data from a parent after that if I go to values uh, you you will see also that we extended a little bit this table this this master data uh, you can have a, the, a value you can have an, an attribute code uh, in order to to make a um, uh, the, the final product, the, the specific product, uh, can be coded uh, directly taking this, this attribute code and, and making a, a concatenation of this data and uh, you will see also that we added the a raw product and a raw product quantity this is because uh, there is a kind of attributes that are uh, directly related to a component that is, if I am using memory of of, of 16 uh, gigabytes, uh, I know that this will be always related to a memory of 16 of 16 gigabytes. So I don't need a specifying in any bomb, but uh, I only relate the attribute with a product, and after that, when I am producing, if the, uh, I am selecting this value uh, to manufacture a product system will automatically add this product as a planet product to consume so this is part of, of, of MRP configurator so now we are going to see a, a one manufacturing order with uh, this kind of, of configuration so imagine we have got well uh, well this one can be can be right okay so we have got here something that is a uh, 60 16 gigabytes uh, is uh, white and and has got something and in here 
I can well I'm going to make a new one and you will see that if I add a in here the product I've got a configurator where I can select the values that I want to produce in this moment if this configurator is also in, in sales form, sales line so when I create a, um, a manufacturing order from a order it's made to order the, the product automatically will uh, will come will create the manufacturing order with the value selected by commercial people or sales salesmen in sale order so I would not need to select again here but now uh, since I am making um, by hand I have got to select when I select the the values here uh, you will see that uh, uh, the system is able to to select the correct a product that I I need to to um, I need to um, to f to manufacture, and the difference uh, is that uh, if the if when I am configuring this product, uh, the um, the explosion of, of of combinations of or variable are uh, hundreds of, of, of thousands I don't need creating all of them before manufacturing or before sales but when I am if when I select this combination of attributes the product uh, does not exist uh, it will create just in this moment this is if he can't find a, su a product that it is covering all this configuration the system will create in this moment so we added a, a configuration in product to not create all combinatory from all attributes in, in product form in here I can select uh, the, the bill of materials ok and now well here is something related to cost that I'm not going to explain in, in this first video but in here I can, if I go to to schedule products and I compute the da data, you will see that in here we have got also uh, the possibility of having templates and uh, products. If uh, he's uh, uh, analyzing if these uh, values uh, has got related any product in, in attributes so in here a uh, memory uh, 16 is related to to memory system so he's adding the product and these are a specific products but in here there is a product that the system could not select uh, the, the right one the right one related to the product I'm going to produce so if I open this iPad Routina uh, is taking memory 16 because it is inheriting from, from, from parent but he could not uh, take the color and Wi-Fi attributes so I can edit and specify which of them I'm going to use and now he will select the correct product that I need to, to consume to make the production so this is one of the biggest uh, addition we made in, in manufacturing the, the product configurator uh, the system if all the, the attributes from a component are inherited from parent uh, he will be able to select the, the correct one in this case a uh, PC assembly is just the memory he's inheriting from parent so he can select but uh, if there is uh, any components that should be selected not by sales or by by high level um, user but uh, I don't know technical people from a um, technical office or something they could select just in this moment it's not necessary having all bill of materials configured uh, with all the possibilities all the combinatory but just in this moment can be selected and manufacturing order can be launched so this is one of the of the biggest uh, things we we did 
Uh, I expect you you have liked this and and now I will make another uh, video showing how to manufacture by operations. Thank you everybody. <laughs>